So the first hurricane of the 2019 hurricane season was Hurricane Alvin, and that has dissipated a bit. So let's take a look at NHC. Looks like in the next five days we got another disturbance, 90% chance of uh, formation in the next five days. There's even a third hurricane now, so it's a 30% chance of cyclone formation in the next five days. And Alvin is at 30 miles per hour right now, so it's pretty much died down. Uh, but it was the first hurricane of the season, so this is Saturday. If we uh, go ahead to Tuesday, it looks like uh, it starts to form here, but then on Wednesday, we actually have hurricane force winds here. So by the end of next week, we'll have one, maybe even, okay, this one also is at 80 miles per hour, per hour which is hurricane force winds. So it looks like Thursday and Friday, we're going to have two more hurricanes down here. So very quickly, the uh, hurricane season has taken off. And it's also been like way hotter, I've noticed. Like uh, there were like record temperatures in Europe and then even in the US, the temperature was really high. So it's like, it's things can change so rapidly. I mean, the fact that I, I believe within seven days, we're gonna have three hurricanes, you know? Let's take a look at the temperature actually. So yeah, this is, this is 8 a.m. as well. Let's go to like noon. Yeah, look at that. It's like 90, 80. The heat waves are definitely in full swing right now. Yeah, even if we go to the Atlantic too, the Caribbean's all heated up. It looks like it's primed like for hurricane season for sure. I mean, the fact that like we already have three in a week, that's, uh, you know, seems like a lot. Maybe that's quite standard. Um, feels like a lot to me. Uh, what else is going on? Let's take a look at the official NHC statement. For the eastern north pacific east of 140 degrees west longitude the nhc is issuing advisories on tropical storm alvin a broad area of showers and thunderstorms uh, environmental conditions are expected to be conducive for development of the system this weekend or early next week while the disturbance moves westward to west northwestward at about 50 miles an hour so it looks like for the third one formation chance through 48 hours low uh zero percent and for five days 30 percent so pretty interesting let's take a look at wind gusts let's see what that's going to look like on thursday for the second hurricane okay so it looks like ooh, 100 mile an hour gusts potentially um and down here not quite a hurricane on thursday but on friday it's like 80 miles an hour and uh this is you know it's like six days out or five days out from now and uh so it could change but i mean nhc is typically pretty reliable and if they're saying 90 percent actually 80 percent in the next 48 hours you know i would say we're definitely gonna at least get a second hurricane maybe even a third one i guess we need to wait another day or two to see how this one's gonna start forming and then, I mean, if we take a look at the temperature, it's uh, the Caribbean is actually way hotter in the Gulf of Mexico, especially than even down here, or it's at least as hot as the Pacific. Yeah, they're having like record heat waves in Europe. So maybe there's, uh, you know, a spike in solar flare activity going on. So there might be some other crazy, you know, weather as well, like uh, earthquakes and volcanoes and whatnot. Yeah, how cold is it in Greenland right now? Oh wow, so it's like... Well, actually on the coast it's like getting to 60 degrees, wow. That's pretty crazy. But in the center, yeah, it's like below freezing. But okay, on the coast though, it's getting to like 50, 60 degrees. It's not too bad. It's actually probably quite nice right now. That'd be cool to visit actually, in the summer. Um. Yeah, anyways, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, if you want more hurricane and weather coverage like this, uh, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching. Bye.